This is the SK02, an audio DAC from Fozzy Audio. Now, I want to thank the guys from Fozzy Audio for sending me this device to review. Actually, I want to thank all the international brands that have been sending me devices to review lately. That having been said, my review is totally independent and Fozzy Audio did not pay me for favorable coverage. So let's get into it. If you're an audiophile, you already know what this device does. But for those who don't, this DAC, which is short for Digital to Analog Converter, as the name suggests, it converts an audio signal from digital to analog. See, when music is recorded, it is recorded using guitars, microphones, pianos, drums, etc. It is recorded in an analog format. But for it to be moved around and played on devices like phones and streamed online, it needs to be converted into a digital format like MP3. In this digital format, it is stored as ones and zeros, also known as binary code. During this encoding process, a lot of information is left out due to errors affecting the final sound of the audio recording. This is where a DAC comes in. If you have high quality audio equipment like studio headphones, a DAC allows you to listen to music as it was recorded by converting the digital signal back to analog. And most DACs also come with an inbuilt amplifier, which increases the loudness of the audio as well. Now, before we talk about some of the features of the SK02, we need to unbox it and take a look at the build quality. The Fozzy Audio SK02 comes in this black and blue box. And in the box, you'll find a user manual and a USB-C to USB-A cable, which can be converted to USB-C. And the Fozzy SK02 DAC. The SK02 comes in black and it's made out of an aluminum alloy and has a bit of weight to it. 380 grams to be exact. On the bottom, there are rubberized strips that help the Fozzy SK02 not to slip on a surface like a table. On the top of the SK02 is the Fozzy Audio branding. There are two buttons, one for gain, which can be switched between low and high and a mode button to switch between optical and USB inputs. Just below those buttons on the left side are the PCM sampling rates with an orange LED indicator showing your current PCM sampling rate. This will change depending on the sample rate of the audio you're listening to. On the right are the DSD sample rates. This should give you a hint on who Fozzy Audio are targeting because the DSD format is mainly used by audio professionals for mastering and archiving audio. But that doesn't mean that you and I cannot use this DAC. Just below is the volume indicator light and the power indicator light. Then right at the bottom is the volume knob, which also doubles as a power on and off switch. The knob can also be used to mute the audio by double clicking it and it can also be used to play and pause audio by simply clicking it once. Turning the SK2 over, we see the 3.5mm headphone jack, which can push 280 milliwatts of power at 32 ohms, and the 4.4mm jack, which pushes out 1100 milliwatts at 32 ohms, balanced. Switching to the other side, we have a USB-C port, an optical in, and an optical out slash auxiliary out jack. In terms of build quality, it is well built and you get the sense that it will last you a very long time. But whilst it looks great, it can easily pick up fingerprints. You might want to keep a microfiber cloth nearby. Now the Fozzy SK02 was built for desktop and laptop use, but it can also be used with smartphones. That is if the USB-C on the smartphone supports power out. I could not get it to work on my Samsung though. However, I was even able to make it work with my Android TV box. Now, despite offering a good and clean sound, I was actually impressed by the versatility of the SK02. Just being able to turn the knob when increasing or decreasing the volume and adding gain with one click, even muting the audio by double-clicking the knob. The tactility of the knob is not up there, but it's okay. It's these small features that made me fall in love with the Fozzy SK02 DAC, particularly with my video editing workflow. It makes things easier. The SK02 features a high-end ESS Sabre, ES9038Q2M DAC chip, and SGM8262 AMP chip. 
Now as for the sound, the SK02 produces what I would like to call a neutral or balanced sound. It has no bias towards the lows, the mids or the highs. It does a good job in bringing clarity to the audio, which means it's perfect for my workflow as a content creator. At least I got to hear how bad some of my audio was. So who is the Fozzy SK02 Dark 4? If you're an audiophile, yes, if you're starting out a small studio, it's perfect. Or you prioritize the quality of your music enough to invest $100 in it. Or you bought a pair of expensive high impedance headphones and you're using them with no DAC. Or you're a content creator who's getting serious about your audio. Then this DAC might be for you. So final verdict, I love it. For a sub $100 DAC, the SK02 brings a lot of convenience to my workflow and it sounds great. It has an incredible sound, which livens up and brings clarity to all segments of the frequency range. I definitely recommend it. Now, if you're interested in getting one, I'll leave a few buying links in the description, which you can use to purchase and also help the channel at the same time. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.